Hello everyone. Welcome back to Graphic Hunters. In today's tutorial, we're diving into the world of monogram design, where I'll show you how to create not just one, but two stunning logos using the letters G and S. We'll explore different shapes and text designs to create two unique logos with the same letters. Whether you're a seasoned designer or just starting out, this step-by-step -step guide will help you master the art of creating versatile monograms. So, let's start the video. First take Ellipse Tool and draw a circle. Copy the circle by hold alter and place it middle of first circle like that. Again select the circle and hold alter, place it top of the two circle like that. I'm making shield by these circle, so if you know the process, how to make a shield, you can skip this. OK, that's good. Now select all circles. Take Shape Builder tool, swap stroke color to fill color. Now close click on the shield. Now select the shield and ungroup it. Now move the shield above from the circle. OK, that's good. Now select the circle and turn off the fill color. Friend, this is the shield in which I'm going to design GS letter logo. I will design same letter in the water drop shape. So make a water drop shape. So take rectangular tool and draw a square by hold shift. By hold shift, select this three corner and curve it like that. Now rotate this like that. As you can see friends, there are two shape. I'm going to design GNS letter logo in this two shape. And I'm using 10 lines for designing the two logo. So, first design the logo in the shield. Take line segment tool. And draw a line. Copy the line by hold alter. And make total 10 lines by hold control and pressing D. Now select the lines and make it bottom align. Also copy the lines by press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. Now rotate it 90 degree like that. Now select the lines and keep copy by hold alter for another design because we use 10 lines for both design. Now select everything and make it middle align center. Okay, that's good. Now select the shield and make equal to line. Now copy the shield by press Ctrl C and Ctrl F, and make it one line smaller like that. Make total 4 shield by following this process. Ok, that's good. Now select everything. And take Shape Builder tool, swap stroke color to fill color. Now draw the logo letter like this. Carefully fill up each and every gap perfectly, otherwise your design will not be perfect. OK, that's good, I have drawn the logo letter. Now move the logo above from the line. For that, select the design, and ungroup it. Now select the design part hold shift, and move it from line like that. OK, that's good. As you can see friends, how I easily move the design above from the lines. Now I'm going to make the same design in different shape. 
First, select the shape, and delete it, because I'm going to make it new. For this design, I also need 4 drop shape, that's why I delete the first one. Now take rectangular tool, and draw a square by hold shift. Change the color for understanding the square. Now make total 4 square like that method. Ok, that's good. Now, select 3 corner by hold shift, and curve it. Do for all square. Now select the 4 shape. And rotate it like that. Ok, that's good. Now select everything, change the color to black. Take shape builder tool, and swap stroke color to fill color. Now draw the letter like that. Now fill up each and every gap perfectly like that, otherwise your design will not be perfect. Ok, that's good, I have designed it. Now select the design and move it above form the lines. Now select the two design, and increase the stroke color, because it increase your design beauty. Again select the design, Go Object, select Expand and then click on OK. Now go Pathfinder, and make it United. So friends, this is how you can easily make Monogram logo in any shape. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Graphic Hunters for more design tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Have any questions or ideas for future tutorials? Drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.